What's up, my name's Oliver Tree. So I hear you wanna see the best fridge in Los Angeles. Well, you came to the right place. Welcome, my name's Oliver Tree. Before I get started, I will say, I've been on a new diet, so this is a little different than what I usually have. I got this new doctor in Beverly Hills who's been trying these different diets with me. I've been doing this high fructose diet. Basically lets your blood sugar spike all day so that you don't actually need the same carb intake. Low carbs, high fructose, lots of chocolates, lots of cocoa, rice candies, high fructose soup. It's everything I want. The taste, the flavors, minus all the workouts, I don't have to do any of the physical routines. I personally would like to sit back and let the carbs crush themselves. Up top we got my Yoohoo's, this is my classic go-to drink. I've been drinking these since I was six years old. Super low in calorie, super high intake. Sometimes I get hangry, low blood sugar. Crush a couple of those, I'm good till lunchtime. Below we have the Danimals, these are my favorite. I fucking love Danimals. I mean, they're just so cute, look at them. My mom never let me have animals growing up, so I think that's kind of where I formed the attachment to Danimals. Below the Danimals, I have my Capri Suns. Timeless drink, Silver Surfer, cool as always. Uh, one thing I will say is, I have every flavor, but Fruit Punch is my favorite. I like to keep those ones chilled on ice. And below there, of course, we have my red Gatorade selection. What's super important to understand about Gatorade is that every flavor has a different impact. Red is actually a really high energy Gatorade. If you know me, you know I'm drinking a red Gatorade getting pumped up before the game. I drink a lot of Arizona iced tea, but uh, I guess that didn't have enough sugar in it. I've switched over to Gatorade since I made the switch to the new doctor. And below that we got Go-Gurts. Um, got the SpongeBob kind, fucking hilarious. Squidward, SpongeBob, the whole crew. Pretty good stuff. Uh, uh, fuck, this thing jams. <clears throat> Don't put this in there. Fuck it. And underneath that, I got my Uncrustables. I always grew up hating crust, so it's just a simple solution to a simple problem, you know? Let's not forget about the charcuterie, shall we? Down here, we got the Lunchables. Now, my favorite's the pepperoni pizza. If I'm feeling spicy, sometimes I'll get the nachos. Not really a big fan of the ham. To be honest, it tastes like dog shit. I feed it to record execs, my A&R, people from the record label. People that are just scum of the earth. Moving up here, we got some morning selects, powdered donuts for weekdays, and for weekends, frosted chocolate. That's when I've been good. Up here, uh, just various milks and milk making apparatus. This is whole milk. I don't like any of that skimmed almond milk bullshit. I got chocolate milk, because I eat that with everything. And then we got normal milk for when we run out of chocolate milk, we mix that with some Hershey syrup and a little Ready Whip. I guess I don't get two chocolate milks because if I was drinking only chocolate milk, someone at the register might say something. I am a grown man and I do have to keep up appearances. Public perception is a big deal. So if I saw a fan waiting at the grocery store and they saw that I had just chocolate milk, they'd be like, well, what are you gonna do? You're gonna eat that with your cereal? And short answer, yes. Sometimes, uh, I'll just take a hit. Whip it though. Cuts off the oxygen to your brain. That's a fucking power hit. Super heady trip, don't try it at home. That's for professionals. Little tip, refrigerate your TP. You will not fucking forget this. I eat a lot of spicy food. When you got the Red Dragon, this shit comes in clutch. Keep that at 43 degrees Fahrenheit. That's crisp. You ready for the main course? So my new doctor in Beverly Hills says, Oliver, you gotta make sure you're not ordering stuff. Uber Eats, Postmates, it's a bunch of bullshit. You don't know what's in the food, what calorie count, what sucrose count. He said, you're gonna do a lot better making sure you get enough sugar. If you just buy this stuff, make your meals from home. So I've been doing everything from home, cooking it all from scratch. Corn dogs, these are fucking crazy. Foster Farms, I've been eating these since I was eight years old. I actually partnered with Foster Farms last year. We did a brief stint where we were doing promotional. Three boxes, fourth box, half off. Also, as you can see, I do like myself Ego Mi Lego. Got a couple boxes here. I keep the home style. Always keep an extra box up here. If you look, these are actually crispier and fluffier. So I keep the Primo box up here. This is top shelf. Really big into pizza, um, of course. 
DiGiorno is one of my favorites. Papa John's is all right, but I prefer DiGiorno now after what Papa John did. I've got a lot of different types of DiGiorno. If you look closely, I have pepperoni and then basic cheese. I used to get a lot of delivery, but the pizza guys kept asking for pictures and that shit got old fast, so. I'm just doing DiGiorno now and White Castle. I would eat these at any time of the day, any time of the night. These are the best hamburgers in America. And of course, down here, I got some pocket rockets. These are pocket rockets. Oh, I guess they're called hot pockets. I actually just found out about these things. I don't know if you guys have tried them yet. I'm pretty sure they're new. Hot pockets, it's like pizza wrapped up in some kind of ball. This new millennial food is fucking crazy. Everybody should try it. They got pepperoni, cheese. Don't try the cheese, just go right to the pepperoni. Even if you're vegan or vegetarian, it doesn't matter. It's not made with real meat. A lot of people know me as Oliver Ice Cream. Ben and Jerry's, I always keep a few different flavors. Chocolate chip cookie dough, peanut butter cup, peanut butter half-baked, brownie bottom core. Look at that, another peanut butter half-baked, along with my favorite, cherry berry bat cake. So that's basically my freezer. Let's get right to the main course. But before, let me show you one quick party trick. You want to impress your guests? Do a little something extra fun. I got this installed last year. Impresses just about everybody. Who doesn't like it? It's just fun. Can you clean that up? Let's not ignore the elephant in the room. I like Gatorade. I love all flavors of Gatorade. I love what they do for me. I love the way that they wake me up, the way that they bring me down. Blue Gatorade, this is a very, very important flavor. This is really nice pick me up. Get your day started, it's pretty calm. It's not gonna be too much of an up or down. You're just kinda smooth sailing. It's a really easy way to just get the day started. Green Gatorades, these are great for high energy. High energy in the mornings kind of peters off around noon, that's when you're gonna want an orange Gatorade. Super important you don't get a normal orange because that can actually spike your whole system haywire. So I drink G0 orange specifically because it helps you with the midday rush and it'll help you level out because after that first green one and you hit that whoop, you need something to kind of mellow you out and that's what the orange zero G shock is for. Now these purple G0s, these aren't even out yet in the US. The truth is that these are very powerful, very potent. Enough of this stuff can really show you sides of yourself you didn't even know existed. Now, this will bring you back up. I told you about the reds before. This is super high energy. When I go to the park for the second time of the day, I, you know I'm taking a red. If Gatorade only made one color, I would have only wanted it to be Fruit Punch. Now, start with the blue and end with the blue. Just like you start your day, you wanna end your day with the smooth sailing out, right into dream world. I have at least one blue Gatorade. If I'm not getting tired, I drink a second one at 11 p.m. Every night, every night. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the thing that made me famous, Candy Corner. Enough fructose and sucrose to kill a small child. So over here we have M&Ms. I keep the big ones on the bottom, smaller ones up top. Try to mix it up. Basic rudimentary flavors for gummy bears, nothing crazy. Over here I got the Sour Patch Kids. You know, we all like to get a little crazy sometimes. Over here, I just got some kosher dill. I find if you mix a little sweet with a little sour, it's quite a combo. Of course, Reese's, Hershey's, Kit Kats, Rice Krispies, Ring Pops, Tootsie Rolls, Dum Dums. Pretty much anything goes in the candy corner. I know we're out of the fridge right now, but this is extremely important. The one drawer nobody in the house knows about. It's kind of just my personal stash. My doctor has me on this new diet that's basically by the foot diet, so I'm allowed to eat 15 feet a day. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to take in three feet every five hours. It's incredible stuff and I'm super excited. Okay, I may have lied. There is one more thing I need to show you guys. In the case of an emergency, this is where I keep my gushers. Now you motherfuckers need to step the fuck out of here. I showed you where all my shit is. All my low life scum friends who come here making a fucking mess, eating all my snacks. No more snacks, no more candy corner. I'm cutting you off. Oh, my God.